All right, so we have made it out to north central Arkansas. I'm talking the very north centrally part of Arkansas that you can be. We are like a half mile or a mile from the state line, and uh, the pre is kind of kicking in, but we have warm temperatures out here that have greeted us, and so not super excited about that, but we've got the muzzleloader, and we're gonna go um, down to the big bottoms here. We're gonna set up an old blind. I'm talking old blind. It's kind of falling apart. Might be working on it this weekend, but we can see a large area. So we're gonna start that way to start this morning. And uh, hopefully we can see some deer, maybe make a move on them, or at least see where they're coming out in these fields. And then this afternoon, we'll do some scouting, see if we can find some scrapes, see if we can find where they're hitting on acorns and uh, make a move. And if we need to hunt from the ground or hunt from the saddles, or if there's a stand nearby, we'll make a move on that but looking to possibly hopefully take a good buck for myself maybe we can take some does out of here and maybe even crony can take his first arkansas out of state you know arkansas buck period um so that'd be kind of cool so we'll just see what happens this weekend we're gonna have fun and hopefully kill some deer but it's a pretty place and we should see some deer despite the warm weather but we'll have to work hard for it that's for sure He's looking. So we got a buck. We were sneaking down through here. And uh, he was down here on this power line clearing. And I was afraid he was going to see us, but we dashed to the woods. And when we did it, we got in the shadows super fast. It was enough attention that he liked it. He is on his way down here. I'm not for sure what size he is, but he is a buck. So let's see how close he gets. He's a little buck. We'll pass him. Holy cow. He's going for you if he comes in.
is right somewhere right here. Were you shooting through the cedars? I yeah. Remember. Okay, so I remember him walking up to some of these bushes. Sure, I feel like there's a lot of Thank you so much. Kill a deer. Film me when I kill a deer. Like film? I found him. You found him? Yeah. You just found him? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> you broke your car. He's not a monster, but he's a. I'm happy with him. I don't care. He's right here. Oh my gosh, he's right there. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, he didn't run 10 yards. Look how big he is. He's bigger than I thought, actually. Look at that. That's a good buck. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. gosh, congratulations, man. That's insane. <laughs> he, I guess he was just right here and he yeah, just Yeah, I knew he was right up here. higher than this. Man, he just keeled right over, didn't he? That's he, a good buck. Oh yeah, it's a nice deer. <laughs> Oh man, free-handed what? At least an 80 yard shot. Oh, that's, dude. oh man, yeah, way over there is where we were. Dude, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> first, oh, first hunt here, God. first morning. He's tall, he's Got pretty him done. Oh yeah, nice deer. You can just kind of narrate, just absent-mindedly. Right, there's, there's a little bit of blood on the leg there. Oh, there you. So this is the side that I shot, right? Yeah. So right there, perfect. Where's the hole? There it is. Drilled him in that front shoulder. Must have just destroyed everything for him to drop that fast. And it probably mushroomed up. It probably didn't even come out the other side with the being a muzzle loader. Well, that was kind of strange. That was kind of close. <laughs> Did we have people watching us hunt? That's well, what a chaotic, crazy experience we had this morning. This is Crony and I's first ever kill on camera together. Uh, you know, he's down here interning with us, and um, you know, we weren't seeing anything this morning. We sat up in the big bottom and saw a few does down there and started walking, and um, you know, we ended up seeing a small buck that we kind of maybe thought we were going to get on. And this area right here, uh, every time I walk through here, there's a corner of this little field that I've always busted deer out of so we really wanted to make sure to walk in here quietly and sure enough walk in there and um, we're standing kind of in the open on that power line and I can see the butt of this deer and I didn't know if he was a doe if what he was and um, you know then saw that he was a buck and then through the scope I saw he was a pretty good buck so it went the chaos mode there and uh, we were trying to get him on video and uh, Crony was back there just videotaping from a little bit further back. I had kind of sprinted up about 20 yards to get a more clear shot because he was moving. And uh, free-handed about an 80 yard plus shot with that muzzleloader, that CVA there, and got over here. And it was really kind of hard to tell exactly where he's at. We started looking, not finding any blood, not finding any blood. And we just weren't looking in the right spot. So we haven't even replayed the video yet. He might have dropped right there in his tracks. I know we didn't get great footage of him, but that's what happens. This is real hunting. And this is real enjoyment. This, I am so pumped about this deer. This is the first whitetail buck that I've killed in over a year. I did not kill a whitetail buck last year because I got too picky. And by the end of the season, I was kicking myself for not killing some of the bucks that I had seen because I would have enjoyed hunting any one of those and actually shooting them and harvesting them. So this year, if it gets me excited, if I'm enjoying the moment, it's going down because that's what it's all about and that's exactly what our t-shirts represent to enjoy hunting but man super excited super blessed about this we're going to continue hunting this weekend see if we can't fill some doe tags see if we can't uh you know get crony on a buck but right there what a way to start off the 2019 season for my buck harvest here in arkansas with the with the muzzleloader Super excited, super blessed, and we'll see what else we get out here. But anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this this awesome hunt, this spot and stock, this real hunting. Um, if you guys did, comment down below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. And until next time, have a better than average day.
always two does down in the bottom, and then we were we walked all the way down the pond, and then we were walking up the power line, and uh, we ended up stocking up on him. He's a good egg, oh, though. Nice. He's a good egg. Yeah, no. I think that's the one I saw down there the other day. Really? He was tall. Yeah, he's tall. When I saw him, I was like, yeah, I haven't shot a buck in over yeah, two seasons. I'm shooting him. Yeah. Probably six, seven inches. Yeah. And until next time, have a better than average day. I missed it. I totally missed it. Want to try again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. Crap, it ain't a frisbee. We're done. <laughs>